Hi folks, I'm just making a quick video of our last example today because I see a lot of you are not here um, and then I can post this on Teams. So we have already looked at um, the first example for second order differential equations. We've looked at a method, we'll go through it again for this example. Um, so we can see that this one is an example where we're talking about motion. Um, so x will be our displacement, x dot is velocity and x double dot is acceleration. Um, okay, and so the key idea, the, the way that we solve these in our course is we turn them into a coupled system from a second order differential equation. If you speak, well, actually I don't think they even look at this in the MAA HL course, so you can't really talk to, unless you've got friends in the um, analysis course who are like kind of reading ahead and um, looking at other things, you might be able to hear about some of the ways that they've learned to solve um, these, which are unlikely to be the same as the way we're doing this. Okay, so the first step is always to let y equal the first derivative of your equation. And in this question, they even give us that hint. It says, use the substitution x dot equals y. Okay, so that is always step one here. Okay, let y equal x dot. So I'm going to write kind of in purple the steps and in blue my workings. Um, and actually, to begin with, I'm going to write both of those things because that is the first step and it's also what you would write as your workings. Um, the next step is we differentiate this. Okay, trying to use the dot notation, what would we get if we differentiate y equals x dot? Jules? y dot equals x two dots. Yeah, y dot equals x double dot. So we put two dots above the x and it shows us it's the second derivative. Okay, so now we can rewrite that original equation using y's. How would we rewrite it? Instead of x dot, I write... I, I think it's... Um, oh, wait, with the d notation. No, we'll write it with the dot notation. We'll, oh, keep, okay. we'll stick with the same one. So that's um, 0 is y dot minus 3y minus 4x. Great, thank you. Okay, so we've substituted all the kind of the... Um, relationships we built up into that initial equation. So I'll write substitute into original equation. All right, so now we can set up our coupled system. Set up coupled system. Okay, I tend to start with the original variable. So I'll start with um, x dot, and we said x dot is equal to y, and the question told us to do that. And then the second equation comes from that substitution we did. So I'm gonna do 4x plus 3y. Okay, so now we've got to the point where we've got a coupled system. Um, at this point, you could use the matrix approach that we've been using to solve this. Um, if, I think with this example, we could do that. Um, if the question asks us to use Euler's method, we could also use Euler's method. Um, the example before, the coupled system we had didn't allow us to um, use the matrix method, so we had to use Euler's method. Okay, so in this question, we're going to solve the system. So that means using the matrix approach. I think I'm going to stop the video now because this is the method we've been using since the very beginning of this unit. Um, all the workings will be on OneNote, but I feel like you should be able to, you don't need um, to watch me going through that.